here back on our FTB Beyond modded server tough dudes v for v the name is kind of fluid right now still so I haven't I've been the videos are all different titled I don't know if you guys have noticed but I've noticed and it bothers me but anyway we're here we're on the server we're having a blast actually um, been going really really hard on this for a bit now and I I wanted so last episode actually we had a bunch of stuff done that you guys didn't see uh, let's go outside and uh, basically this episode we're going to catch up a little bit and we'll do a little construction on the boat give you a brief idea of what I want to do and then uh, we'll call it a day probably because we got a lot of stuff to look at uh, so the shop last time we were here we were kind of finishing it we were giving you the idea of what it's stocked it's now open there are a couple things I want to do here um, I learned very recently about a trick for lighting that I would like to use in here uh, so first of all we're going to take care of that we're going to take this we're going to go Plane, connected material, connected plane. So we'll go boop, boop. And we're gonna need to take this, and we'll take now all of that. Put that in one of our bit bags. I got a couple of those now. Okay, as I'm starting to get more stuff, we got an almost empty one and a one that is almost full. So anyway, let's take our glowstone bits, and we'll do connected plane, put that there. And then we want the wood that we took out too, which is actually right in my inventory. Bam. And then we'll do the same thing here. I'll do that. This is glowstone. Oops. Undo that. Glowstone. And then bam. And then if I did that right, yeah, I shouldn't have any any lines. Come up here. We take oops. Take these guys out. So you see I have lines here. This is where mobs can spawn. So we're gonna go click click place and it's still it's still good oh and that's actually oh nice that's enough so I don't need to waste any more I'll just do the same thing up here where we'll take out all of our torches all right bam and then we'll just go one two play oops place and bam right there so yeah that's awesome there we go so hidden lighting nice and easy um, and up here there is a little bit so let's just go ahead and do that too that is apparently a spawnable space although I don't know why that is what we'll talk about next uh, but we'll do and then bam all right good like it never happened so just a little extra lighting in the middle there There's some spawnable spaces on the ends here but I'm not that worried about it all right so now that we got that out of the way uh, so yeah, that's oh yeah, we we didn't talk about the shop. So yeah, it's open now, open for business completely. So you walk in, this is the floor for sale, as we mentioned before. I have everything all lined up now. So the manielin, 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 sure, that that thing. Four of them is one gold coin. It's fairly easy to get. It's pretty plentiful in the Nether. Just figure, you know, a nice easy way to step up if you want to get a little leg. And I'll put some more in there as we go, but I don't think it's gonna be that popular. We got redstone, again, I don't think it's gonna be that popular, 32 for one. Iron, 32 for one, that could be popular depending on how much iron people get, how quickly. Obsidian I see being fairly popular, so I went ahead and did four obsidian for one gold coin, which I think is a pretty good point, uh, is a pretty good sale, price. Uh, lots of people like it, it's hard to mine. Uh, I happen to get a lot from my quarry, so I just put it up for sale, I may do more. If it's, I don't know, we'll see. As we get more people on the server too, maybe more people will be interested in it. Not sure there. Again, if you're on the server, if you're not on the server, if you think of something to sell, uh, something you would you would buy if you were playing here, uh, what what would it be? Because I'm looking for one more thing. Uh, Ender pearls. Uh, we do go to the end now, so this is going to be uh, purely convenience at this point. But maybe we'll do like a stack of 16 for one at, once we get a farm or something. Uh, diamond continue to be one gold coins squid said he was gonna buy me out but I still have yet to see anything happen there and then copper for one gold coin again 32 again and this is really just convenience most of the time when you're mining you're mining at a higher level so I figure maybe maybe that'll be something people would want and then up here if we go up you know this is these are the elevator blocks I did take out the ladders so we hit spacebar on the block and it goes up if we hit the hold shift it'll go down so up here is where I have things for sale I have two empty spots, or I'm sorry, where I'm buying things. This is where I buy things. So I got two things that I don't need. I just have them there because maybe I'll want something else. And this is all just really grindy stuff for me that I don't want to get myself, but I will gladly pay people for. 
So glass, and it, again, it's not that hard. It's just I don't necessarily want to go out and build a farm or something right now. So I've got glass, uh, 32 glass for one gold coin. Uh, gold, I did increase the price from the last time we were together, uh, to from because uh, it's three gold coins, or it's one gold makes three gold coins. I don't know what I did. I don't remember, but I increased it by one. So four gold is one gold coin. Maybe I did that backwards. I don't know. That might change. Who knows? And then wool. And then up here on this third floor, it's just, oops, it's just my apartment. Uh, it's my little penthouse apartment. Uh, just, you know, got some basic stuff. I have, this is all obsolete now, except for the compactor, which I will eventually, this is how I get gold, right? So, uh, do I have any on me? Can I show you? No, I don't know. All right. That's how I make the coins. I may move that into a vault. Uh, I learned about an item from multi-storage called the vault. You can't really see it, but uh, we can see the door. So the vault door, uh, not that expensive. You basically what you do is you take a, bu a vault concrete bucket, which is made like this, uh, with sand, gravel, and a two buckets, one with water and one for the actual uh, concrete to be in. And you basically place it down on uh, iron bars placed in the world. Um, so yeah, and it's in it's in uh, impenetrable storage, so we can just have stuff there that's just for us, secure. Uh, and I think that's where I'm going to put this thing, actually, this compactor, so that way nobody can sneak in and use my compactor to get coins. Uh, make your own, you dang kids. <laughs> just some uh, just some random storage up here, too. But yeah, that's all there is to this. Um, and then we come up to the roof, and this has been where I've been slingshotting off of and flying around. There's uh, Squid's Za Temple, as in Pizza Temple. <laughs> uh, you can go check it out. He has a video up at, right now, maybe another one at this point, I don't know about building it and starting pizzas and stuff. It's really funny to watch him do it. Um, but yeah, now that I have flight, I can fly out of here, sure. But I mean, I could also take the front door. And we are going to build a path down there, which we'll talk about in another episode, probably. Maybe next time, I'm not sure. I would like to come back and do some work at spawn. I know Squid has said he wants to kind of clean things up. So yeah, that's something that's going to happen. Uh, but this is... So, okay, I had... Let's use it first. This is a teleporter, right? A dislocator pedestal. I've programmed it for the ship. So when we right-click on it, we are instantly at our base, which is super cool, super easy, and this is exactly what I've been looking for. When I click on this one, it takes me right back to the rooftop of our shop. So this is the airship base, nice and easy. Uh, I had originally wanted to use the super crafting frame, if you recall, uh, super craft, super teleportation frame from the super crafting frame mod, uh, and it didn't work. It was I don't know if it was too far or if the chunks were loaded or what, but it didn't work. Um, so instead. I have this Draconic Evolution item, Dislocator Pedestal, which is actually fairly cheap. It's really just a couple of Blaze Powder, um, the Draconic Dust, which I have a bunch of, um, just from randomly finding some Draconic Ore. It's not a lot, it's eight Draconic Dust, all told, for, for you know two-way teleportation. But it could also just be one way. Um, but yeah, that's really easy. Uh, I may move it around a little bit. Uh, I felt like this was a good place for the teleporter on the prow of the ship, so we'll see what happens. Um, elsewhere, so we have a lot of stuff going on here, a lot of mobs looking around, trying to get some faces eating on us, hopefully. I've had the bug where I actually can't get out of bed recently, and I haven't had that in a while, ever, and I think I just got it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we'll just have to kick ourselves out and come back in. Yeah, I hadn't gotten that ever. I don't know if maybe it's a vanilla bug. Like I know it's a vanilla bug, but I haven't gotten it and since I had the until I got the angel ring. So I don't know if maybe I need to take that off when I sleep or what. Um, but yeah, it's it's an issue. It just look at all this time we're wasting. Ugh. All right, so we're up. <laughs> all right, so we're up. We have our ship. Uh, nothing too much has changed in there. I have some items here. Nothing too crazy. Um, so yeah, down here. We got actually a lot to go through, so let's. We already talked about the uh, the, the mining world and the quarry. Um, oh, I see you. All right, he's dead. He causes blindness, and I don't like that. Hey. Oh, like fest. All right. Anyway, so I did add, like I said before, I was going to do some more water mills, uh, just a couple. So now I have 59, so it should do me where everything I need grid power for right now. Uh, I will do. I had an. I was thinking about the, the lava generators, and I have a, a good setup for it. I just need to actually crank some out. But uh, 
So right now, so we have our, our refined storage set up, right? We, we've talked about this a little bit. You know, it's all our storage and stuff. We have plenty of room still, although we're getting a little more full. We got a couple of 16s and a 4K in here. We'll expand that. Plenty of room to expand. Um, I do have a sag mill, this slice and splice. I just, I haven't used yet, but I, I just wanted it ready because I'm going to need it fairly soon. All right, so I have this guy, and nothing's coming in here right now from the mining world because I actually have the power for the quarry right here now because I was running a little bit low. Um, so what I did, or wh why I was running low, is because I was running the refined storage and the alloy smelter and the sag mill. And they take a lot of power all together. I think it's 20 RF per tick. 60. 60 for these guys. Yeah, for both these. And then it's like 15, 20. Uh, 20 for the RF at this point, or for the refined storage at this point. So, we are also running the Woot Mob Factory, and we're, we're grinding out skeletons right now. Uh, so basically what I have going on here is a Tier 1 Woot Factory. It's got a mass upgrade, but basically all you need to worry about is that this spawns skeletons. Spawn skeletons, you can see the progress bar up top there, fairly quickly. I think it's probably about the same time as a regular spawner. But it doesn't actually spawn the things, it just creates the loot. And the loot then goes in here. And it looks like my system has decided to turn off again. I don't know why that is. Basically what should be happening here is this stuff should all be emptying. And maybe it's on a chunk border or something, but this should be emptying first. It should be putting the bones into here. And that creates bone blocks, which then get shoved into these undeath generators, which create quite a bit of power uh, when they're running, which this one says it is, but it's not. Maybe it just turned off. I don't know. They, each one, when it's burning bones, uh, generates 120 RF per tick. So that's enough to run this, plus most of that. Plus I have this thing, this uh, solar panel here, and the capacitor bank just says overflow. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's great. We're good. Doesn't matter. We'll come back and we'll maybe put some hardened stone or something around there. Just to cause, stop that from happening. Oh my goodness. But yeah, so we have skeletons spawning there. Um, I might incorporate this into like a temple kind of a build. I don't know. I do, like I said, I want to make like a little town area around here. So everything is going to go inside of some kind of building. And it's just going to be a matter of moving it around and deciding what's going to look best where. Uh, yeah. And we talked about our wither killer. I did kill another one just for fun. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. When it comes to the nether, there is one thing, um, but I think that can wait for another time. I just built a little tunnel off to a really nice uh, wither hunting uh, fortress, but we'll take a look at that maybe another time, or maybe I'll just show some, some of the guys, because that's really what I want to do, is be able to have them see it. Um, so I really want to look at, um, before we have to go, because we are running low on time already, although it feels like we just started. Um, I want to look at some of the, I was talking about doing some like metal striping along here. And I want to take a look at that, because I think steel and this gray flat block could look really cool. So I'm going to put these guys down, and I'm just going to take uh, all of them. Uh, connected. Yeah, take all that. Uh, and then I'll put down... Well, first I need to... Ooh, hello. I need to empty my inventory a little bit here. i got too many things. Yeah, I don't need these solar panels. These are weak solar panels. They don't do much. Um... I think that's going to be okay for right now. So yeah, let's put some of these guys down. And we'll just take take them up, and I'll take that one. Alright, great. So now we're going to use our flight, and we're going to take a look at here, and what we can do. Um, let's see, where's the steel block? Alright, so I'm thinking, like, we'll do something. I want to start a little over here, so we have room to blend everything together. But I want to take this guy and do the uh, connected plane. So something like that. Just I like because I like that it gives the riveting on it too. That's really nice. You know, just something like that. And then maybe we can accent that riveting with some of the gray flat blocks. Which is this one. Just do something like single bit. Just to give it a little bit of depth here. Just come in with each of these. Like, I don't know. I think it does give it a bit of depth, and I think even when you're down here, you're like, it does, doesn't does add a lot, but just enough versus the flat texture. Like that little sh shading or whatever on it. 
Um, and we're probably just going to come and do then. I'm thinking about maybe using this spruce wood. We do a single bit on replace. You know, so we come like this. Oops, undo that. I want to place that. Place, place. And then maybe do like a draw region here. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know if I like that versus. Oh, maybe it'll look better down here too, because that's on a seam. It just adds just enough. Because the other thing we could do too. Block has changed. That's fine. All right. So the other thing we could do too is to put it up, is to place it down. Oops. Undo. Is to place it like that, which maybe would give it some added depth. I'm thinking maybe do I want to raise do or do I need to raise the metal plate? I'm gonna take a look and see. So that's the steel, let's do the connected plane. Let's raise it up by one. So we have that too high. Like it seems silly to have be messing around with these minuscule like bits. Because especially because it's gonna be that high up, but you know I, I honestly think it does make it look so much better. Let's put that one down there. Because then if we do the same thing we had there, we go, oops, undo. <laughs> Forgot to set it to single bit. Undo that. And I did, I think the single greatest advice I ever got before playing with this mod is to bind an undo key, because that makes it so much easier. Yeah, I think that is, I think that's brilliant. And I think, what, so what we would do, hmm. I was thinking maybe can we put it into one block? I'm just causing so many problems here. Oops. Let's change that to draw region, shall we? And we'll just take all this away. Because what would be brilliant is if we could take it down and then place that in there. Oops, I dropped a bit. Come here, bit. Come back to me. Yeah. Um, now that I don't know about. See, I think that maybe takes away. Oh, that's not on the right level. Set that to replace. So that's still one off of the actual wood. It does take away some of that outline, though. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like on the bottom. I missed. I misplaced. Misclicked. Okay. Yeah, so let's put that. We'll take this layer out. Oh, we took both layers out. Okay, that's fine. Don't matter. That's the block of steel, so we'll just go ahead and oops, undo. Why can't I place that there? Because it's on replace. Alright, there we go. Um That was that was mistaken. I didn't click that right. Single bit, draw a region, take this out. And then I want to replace that. Replace. Just like shoe. But it's the wrong block, of course. Spruce planks. Yeah, I think as cool as it would be to have it be one block, I don't think we're going to go with that. I think we'll go with the, the two blocks. But yeah, that's basically the, that's basically the plan. And... <laughs> As you can see, this takes forever. 
Uh, even just messing around a little bit with that is taking what five ten minutes five minutes maybe and yeah so what base but now it's easy at this point because we can actually let's go ahead and place that there just so it's nice and even I can get a pattern a positive design I think it's called positive yeah positive chisel design And we come up here. We just right click on that. Yes, right click on that. And then we can use this just like, well, with a slightly different menu, but just like uh, placing bits. So we're going to replace. We're going to go click, 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 click. And then from here, we can do a placement. So you can just see we got quite a little design there. And up here, we can do the same thing. Something like, I don't know if we want to do it there or there. We'll do it there. Or I don't have the bits for it. That's OK. Let's uh, just grab our chisel real quick. There it is. Uh, I want to take all that out. So click. Perfect. And we'll just take these ones too. And then we'll put our design up here just to see how that looks a little bit. Two, three. So, you know, it gives it a bit of a a bit of texture, a bit of a military feel almost. Um, I don't, you know what? Now that I look at it though, at this way, I don't know if I like how broken up it is. Like the square of the, the square, the cutoff texture of the, um, of the steel. I wonder if maybe I should, I can take that out and replace it with flat colored blocks. So if I do draw region, And I just take these out here. And then replace it with my flat color block, which is right there. I'll just draw that in. Did I do the right button? I did not. I sure did not. And maybe even along this one. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe that breaks it up too. It's very, pretty much the same color actually, so maybe that wouldn't work so much. I would have to like really get in here and match this pattern up with, with some blocks and have it blend in together. Um, or maybe do something like... Oops. I don't know kind of make like rivets across like banding I don't know I don't think that works either really I think that just looks weird all right but yeah that's that's the general idea that's where we're at uh, I'm gonna be working off camera on this a bit so hopefully when you come back we have a bit more of the detailing done and I can show that off add some rails and stuff and really start to get this thing in a boat shape I had kind of wanted to do like a like a like a building first but actually I think I have some ideas with this and I don't know I don't know I don't want to make any promises but we'll see something sometime in the next episode or two we should see some progress being made here at the base in terms of beautification so uh, look forward to that uh, until then take a look at some of the people in the description down below because I have uh, you know, there's some really good people down there. It's really funny videos and just good stuff and good inspiration. So uh, until next time, guys, have a great, awesome day. Love those wings. Oh, my God, I forgot about them. <laughs> have a great, awesome day, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.